Hey YouTube, this is Trip, and I am back with a fresh video for you today. Happy Friday. I'm sorry for the flow. It's not on its greatest fleekness today. That's what the kids say, right? Um, but anyways, we have a tournament gameplay. Uh, we're jumping straight into an OU tourney. Okay, so I do have a first round by, it looks like. Look how many people in this tournament. It's it's like 100 people at least. But we're going to get right into this. Um, here's my matchup, and I'm bringing my favorite team. This is my team, all right? He doesn't have any... No, yes, he does. He has... Okay, so that's lead Skarm. Um, I'm honestly going to lead Clefable and see what he wants to do. Not even lead Skarm. Interesting to see that, but I'm going to just Moonblast. Uh, figure out what kind of Coco this is, because I can tell by the damage. Whether it's Magnet or Specs. If he just Gigavolt Havoc's turn one, that will hurt. That'll hurt, that'll hurt, that'll hurt. That's Spectacles damage. Um... And he goes hard Kartana. Man, if I move if I flamethrower hard. <clears throat> so I don't even know what kind of Kartana this would be. But it's not like I necessarily even have a switch in. Yes, I do. I have a Latias. I have a Latias. We'll go into that. See what he decides to go for. He goes for the smart strike. That looks banded. That is super banned. So this is banded. Uh, that is Blacephalon. Um <clears throat> Expecting that to be his Scarfer. I'm just going to go into Tapu Bulu here. He's probably just Volt Switching anyways. No, he does go for the HP Ice. So he must not have Dazzling Gleam. It must be Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and then HP Ice U-Turn is what my guess is. Um, I don't see any harm for going for the Wood Hammer. He does go into Skarmory. I was going to go for the Nature's Madness, but I really did not want him to go to Kartana. He's Rocky Helmet, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to go into my Clefable. See, I was hoping he was lead Skarm, but I guess he's not. He's afraid of opposing Kartanas, is what it looks like. We'll just flamethrower this thing. As he goes into his Coco... Um, we don't necessarily need this anymore, I don't think. So we'll just Moonblast, as he Thunderbolts anyways. Um, part of me just wants to go into Mega Latias and start setting up. Because once I start setting up, it's game over. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going for game right here, right now. Three minutes into the video. We know his choice specs. He might just go Hard Hal Lucha. Kartana can't do anything to me. Blacephalon's Shadow Ball's not doing that much because he is Scarf. I'm assuming he's Scarf. Why am I assuming he's Scarf? He just doesn't have a Z-move? This is this Magnet? Even HP Ice isn't gonna do that much. He's not so Coco's not the Z-move. It could be Kartana. It could be Blacephalon. Um my play if he goes into Blacephalon here. Is to always roost off the damage. But he might be realizing that. Yeah, okay, so he goes Gudra. Um, do you have Dragon Tail? If he has Dragon Tail, I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna roost and see what he goes for. He has Ice Beam. Okay, we're good. This is setup fodder, guys. I wanna get to about plus three. Because at plus three, I'm living Shadow Balls comfortably. Obviously, I'm playing with hacks here. Um, but then I think I can 2-hit KO this Gudra. And I can keep doing this because he can't go... Okay, so he goes Skarmory. Um, but we just Thunderbolt this thing. Knock it out. Cool. There's one kill. Get it, Heartache. And the reason why she's called Heartache is she is just known for getting hacked. It's ridiculous how often she gets crit, how often she gets frozen. Ghost Kartana! We're going to Ice Beam this thing. He is actually Scarf. Is that Adamant Scarf? That's Adamant, guys. He's he's not doing 56% unless you're Adamant. Now he goes into his, Hal, his, his Coco and Halucha is going to win this game now. That's Adamant Scarf. And there's nothing... Right? That's Adam and Scarf. Um, 
I just gotta try and keep Coco from uh, getting up the train. Is he just Volt Switches anyways? He... Uh, Blacephalon wins now too! Specs? So if he Specs, he knocks me out anyways. I think I have to sack. Sorry about that. I think I have to sack the Latios. As he goes for Flamethrower. Is this your Z? Let's Earth Power. Earth Power will knock him out. Um, and I can Revenge Kill. I can kill the Coco as well. But then the see the but the problem now. So that was his Zmon. But see now the problem is the Halucha. We have to do everything in our power to keep the Halucha off the field. Because if I Earth Power here, that's game. 100%. Um, unless he, like, misses a high jump kick. So, I do have two train setters, so it's not over. Absolutely not over. I'm honestly going to go into... I think Bulu's always the play here. I think it's fine. But the problem is, is he has more sacks than I do. I think. I'm gonna go Kartana and hope he chokes this away. Going to Gudra. Please go Gudra. He can't lose his Coco. Oh my gosh, we got this, guys. This has to kill. Gudra has terrible. All right, if he's smart, he goes hard Coco. Please kill. Amazing, and that's our that's our game, I think, right? Because I will outspeed. Oh, but the Halucha is at full, and he's gonna get a defense raise. And I don't. So smart strike here. I don't think it matters, guys. I think he wins. See? And we'll smart strike and hope for a crit. Is he <gasps> we lit the hit! Let's go, Sakura! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! How did we live that? I know we're... Okay, so we're at full health. Good game. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to live that hit. Oh, ho, ho. he was even adamant because we outsped him. Hold up. I can't even, this team's not even, nope, here it is. Look, we, really, that had to be a roll. He had to hit two high jump kicks to be fair. That's an 80% chance. 81, if you're doing math. Um, and then, I think he does knock out Lele. Yeah, he would. And we did get a game here, folks. This looks like some weird stall. What is this? Um, I'm gonna use the same team, because I didn't really have a whole lot of time between the games to pick another team. In fact, I'm gonna pause right now while I have a little bit of time now and, uh, revisit that. Sorry about the delay. I do have my next team lined up. So we don't, shouldn't have that issue again. And he just leads Zard. So if he's Zard, Y, he's going for the fire move, right? If he's Zard X, I just click X. In fact, I don't think I can... Okay, so he's Zard Y. I, I was thinking he was probably Zard Y. So this that's fine. Um... Obviously, Latias is our play, and Latias wins this game, guys, by herself. I'll just Ice Beam. He stayed in? This guy is insane. To Dragon Pulse me. I'm a Mega Latias. Relax. Relax with your Dragon Pulses. He has a Quagsire, so there's no there's no um, point of setting up. How much should... Okay, so crit. So that's 24, 48. This thing's bulky. This is like... No speed, I think. 
But we I just had to call mine because A, I don't knock him out with a Thunderbolt, and B Yeah, this is like bulky. What is he doing? Now I knock you out with a Thunderbolt. I'll knock you out. He was asking for it, so. There goes his Zard. He goes into Decidueye. This guy's like way hyper offense for this team build. Hmm. What is he doing? See, if this is a Z move, then I. I'm gonna roost. Is he just toxics? I mean, I didn't want this thing to get toxic, but we'll be okay. Um, I think Cartano's my new win con. We go Heatran here. Would he go Quagsire? See, this just got so much more difficult because I lost, uh... He just leads with the Zard, and I was thinking about going into Latias. I should have done it. I mean, maybe the Volcarona keys me off to it being Y. It's fine. Um... I'm gonna go Bulu as a mid-ground play. Because... Bulu really doesn't do much this game? As he does go Quagsire, I was thinking he might do that. And if I'm being honest, I just want a Nature's Madness, because there's no way he stays in. That would have been nice damage. We really need that damage. In fact, now we can just get up his rocks. Yep. And he outspeeds us. This is, like, offensive? I'm gonna go into my Tran. As he goes for the Brave Bird. That feels offensive, guys. 18% on a resisted hit? So this is the tough play. Because I'm just going to Fire Blast expecting the Espeon. Like I thought. Citrus Berry Espeon. Very interesting. I'll Fire Blast again, knock this thing out. He might just be... He's Morning Sun. Calm Mind. Come on! Calc say I sh 78. He's at 52. Plus 1. Means I knock him out with this move. Okay, he's giving us a chance. Freaking hit! Thank you! Come on. Come on, Heatran. It's right in front of you. Tran. My math was not wrong. Half... Half of 50... Half of 52 is 26. And he was at exactly 52. So, with that... Ca so, I... High roll, low roll, or something. And then two RNGs to say, hey, screw you, man. You can't hit a fire blast. That Volcarona is so threatening in the back. Oh, no. Am I Metronome or Twisted Spoon? I really hope I'm Twisted Spoon. Crap. Hopefully it's bulky. If it's Z, I lose this game. He went into Quagsire! Who is this guy? Insanity, dude. I'd love to have my rocks up. So it's really just the Volcarona that's the threat. Gosh, if I had my rocks up, this game would be so much easier. I was thinking he, he would leave with... He's going to end up winning this game, guys. I'm going to go into my Bulu. 
So he begins the curse. I'm not worried about that at all. In fact, I'm just going to Nature's Madness. And isn't this just setup fodder? We'll see if he's Scald. If he's Scald Curse. But wouldn't you run Waterfall and... Um, Waterfall Earthquake? If he's Waterfall Earthquake, I'm going hard Kartana. Ugh. His team is weird. <laughs> it's just weird, man. He, like, really wants to set up. And in fact, what's Skarmory at? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll Woodhammer this thing. Woodhammer will definitely knock it out. It's the Volcarona, man. I don't care if you're plus two defense. Uh... This is a wood hammer and grassy terrain. This game is making me sad. <coughs> the fact that I threw away my Cliff Able, like, turn one. It was turn one. Uh, come on. Pick a move. And you're dead. Like I thought. Now Volcarona comes in, right? I think I have to. I think I have to go hard, Lele. I don't have a choice. This guy loves setting up. And Volcarona is a huge problem for my team. Alright, let's see how much we can do. He quivers twice. He might just be defensive. <gasps> we get the KO! We're gonna win this game, guys! Tapu Lele! I can't tell who's worse, him or me. Tapu Lele coming through. Arr! Help. And it doesn't matter what he goes into. I'm staying in and I'm clicking Psy Shock. I guess, man. Not as confident about the GG as you are. I, f I feel like I played it poorly. It's just you don't see Decidueye. Oh my gosh. We'll just go into Kartana because he can't sucker punch us. I'm going to click Knock Off. He might just go hard Skarmory. But it doesn't really matter. Wow. Lele. Atta baby. Just one-shotting that. That's why I was afraid that Metronome was going to knock him out, because I used to be Twisted Spoon. I think I need to change that back. But we just Swords Dance. <laughs> As he Brave Birds. And this should knock him out. This should definitely knock him out. There it is. Good game. Uh, I'm gonna go back and change that to Twisted Spoon because of Volcarona. I live a Fire Blast from Vol, but I had, he had the rocks up. Uh -huh. So this is like some weird balance team, but the key, okay, um, this team is, uh, pretty standard rain with a ICMZ, um, Karen Black, and then there's a Focus Ash lead Lando, which I'm going to lead with, get up my rocks and go from there. In fact, I want a Swords Dance first. To scare him. As he gets up his own rocks. And I think this is a free Earthquake. I really just want to get up my own rocks. But this feels like a free Earthquake. He goes slow, bro. So yeah, see, it was a free Earthquake. And now he might switch. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my rocks. He could Scald and knock me out if he burns me. But this is 778 attack. He actually stayed in. He could have got... He was letting me get the kill. And I'm just... See, Zardix out outspeeds me.
Oh, boom. He let me have the bro. I'm totally okay with that. Because now we go Pelipper. And look at his team. And now look at mine. Look at the rain. And look what he does against it. He goes into his clef. Which is fine by me. Um, I will outspeed this thing. Let me U-turn. Man, I just want to go Pert. But I want Pert to be my win con. I don't want to take damage on it, so I'll go Kyrim. He could hit me with a Moonblast, but it won't knock me out. And I'm just going to ICMZ something. As he goes for the T-Wave, so I guess Pert was the play. But like I said, this is 200 base power. Something's dying. And it turns out to be the Clefable. Totally okay with that trade. While Kyrim is great because he has natural bulk... I needed that kill. He goes into Dragonite. I mean, I'm gonna Ice Beam Mew. If he's trying to set up. If he doesn't try and set up, then Pert just revenges anyways. This is looking like an easy win. I, I'm not like trying to be like cocky, but it looks like right where we are right now, like we win this game. And honestly, he doesn't really hit me very hard. I'm sacking this Kyrim off. Knockoff's not doing a lot because I don't have an item. Fusion Bolt will give me that kill. He took free damage on that um, Dragonite. And he goes into the, the spinner himself. And I'm just going to Ice Beam. Okay, so he doesn't decide to spin. And that might just be the game, folks. Because I'm going to go into Swampert. <clears throat> I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to Waterfall. The key was getting rid of Bro, and I felt really good about my matchup because I had Crawdon. And I figured the combination of Crawdon and Swampert was going to win me this game because Crawdon can uh, deal with the Bro. And I would love to power up punch here, but you saw that this is bulky, Knight. This is super bulky. As he just e-speeds, that's not even banded. My phone just went off. I'm sure y'all heard it. It was really loud. Sorry, this is super unprofessional. He goes into his... Interesting, his Excadrill. We just waterfall this thing. Maybe he's trying to set up with Zard. But my play... If that's Zard X... I mean, I'm assuming it's Zard X. If it's Zard Y, then it's not a problem. Um, I think it's always... I want an Earthquake. I think Waterfall is fine. He is Zard Y. Okay. So, he's going to knock out my Pert, but that's no problem. Because we reset the rain. We can die to this thing. It's not a big deal, because we have the Crawdon. It's Choice Bandit in the back. And he's going to definitely kill this Zard off. Watch him be, um... Okay. I was going to say, watch him be, uh... Random uh, sunny day Megazard Y. That would have been something. And we get the knockout. That's a good game. We're going on to round four, folks. I'm having fun. Hope you are. So I hate bringing the same team over and over again because I'm paranoid that people are going to scout me because that's totally legal. I don't feel like it's legal. Um, he leaves with his Lando, and looking at his team, he's hyper offense. It's all get out. Weavile, huge, huge threat to my team. We just rocks. We actually outspeed him. Considering his team build, you would think that this would be like max speed. Uh, he just might be Rocky Helmet. But we'll try and spin regardless. Oh, he's not. Amazing. That's amazing. Sorry, I was I was uh, talking to somebody. But um, he U-turns out into his Greninja. And he's still messaging me back there. Um, are you Protean? Because your team build says you're Protean. You want? I... I don't care. I'll go Greninja either way. The point is Hazards. We get up Hazards, we win in the late game. With one of our sweepers. 
Honestly, Volcarona looks like she could have a field day. Absolute field day. He might fear, fear the Scar since I went into this and switch out. He might go Lando on what he would think would be a U-turn. Or Magirna might be Assault Vested, so... Nope, see... Oh, wait! You're gonna sit here and put up hazards and be spectacles. Hold up, we taunt this thing. And that forces him to switch out. That is ballsy, yo. He just wanted to get up hazards. I guess. Ha props to you, man. Uh, those spikes might come into play, especially with my Magirna, because, like, certain hits I'm living on, like, 20%, and not... Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> well, that's 18, I guess. 18% is what I'll take from those spikes. What? Okay, so he does go into Magirna. That makes me think he's set up. I gotta taunt this thing. This... Oh, he's just Assault Vest! Your team... Your team's blowing me away. So what are his plays? Latios. Interesting. You're just gonna... Just gonna defog. Well, Ice Beam. Yeah, I figured he was defogging. Any scarf. So this ice beam knocks him out, doesn't it? Oh, it's close. Uh, we'll throw up a spike. So scarf. Specs. Z. Monster. He just goes hard into it. Just like that. I want to taunt this thing. I can't let him swords dance. Just play rough. This guy is a monster. Okay. So we'll go Volcarona. Oh my gosh. Volcarona set up, guys. With a, with a, with a terrain as well? Especially if he sacks his Latios. Oh my gosh. Volcarona literally wins. Can we get a Scarf Volcarona hype? Let's see it, boys. Let's see it. Uh, but this was... Oh my gosh, he went into it. Amazing. Oh, where's my boost? So don't... I don't have to do it yet. Oh my gosh. Uh, boy. We'll go Gyarados. I think he's just gonna pump. Yep, he did. <laughs> Which is amazing that he missed. I'm gonna Dragon Dance in regular form. As he goes into Magirna. We need a damage on this thing anyways. Or water Waterfall, because that's fine. Get some damage off, as I thought he'd Volt Switch. Um, Lele's a scarf, right? No, we already saw his scarf. So what does he do now? He doesn't really have a play. He, yeah, he has to go Mawile. For which is not going to appreciate this hit. Okay, he does knock us out. Gyarados almost had his own sweep, especially if I flinch there. We're going to go back to Volcarona. If we get a boost, we win this game, guys. We just need one boost right here. This is our boost. Give us a boost. Let's go! He goes Greninja. Hold up. I'm positive this knocks him out. So we don't knock him out here. But I think it's close enough that the rest of my team can win. Because he we sh he showed he wasn't... Oh, this is so risky. It doesn't knock him out. I was certain it does. At plus one. Just checking everything to see if it's right. No, it doesn't. And that was low roll, and he misses. That's game. That's game. I didn't even necessarily need to hit that, because he dies to the spike coming back in. So that didn't really necessarily matter. And I think Mimikyu plus 
plus set up uh, Magirna won with how weak his team was. And we're only got we've only got one. This is a 50% chance. Knocks us out. We go Magirna. We click shift gear. And I think we won this game, guys. I really do. His own Magirna. Yeah, this isn't gonna knock me out. Not even close. Let's go. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I knew this was a Z. We get one kill. Yeah, that's game. I think. Right? Yeah, there's no way. He's at 15% coming in. Um, Yeah, that miss did suck. I'll give you that. We're moving on. How many games is that? Is that four? Okay, so this team really isn't that good. I want to... I'm going back to my guns because, guys... Guys, this is it. This is uh, the semifinals right here. See this? We will play the winner of those games up there. Um, if we win this game. So we're top four. Let's go. A little bit of luck on my side, I will admit. <clears throat> I think that missed my... <clears throat> it mattered a little bit. Trick room... Sorry. Sorry I'm doing this so unprofessional, guys. Um, oh, gosh. Trick Room is so difficult. Cartana has to blow through him. Oh, boy. We lead Clefable. He leads Cresselia. I'll Moonblast this thing. Really interesting decision to lead Cresselia. I'm going to Flamethrower. Catching the Mawile, and we knock it out! I wasn't sure if it killed from full, but that works. We have a Bulu. As he goes straight for his Z-move, Twinkle Tackle, doesn't knock us out. It's amazing. We're going Tran, we can't let him get boosts. See, HP Fire. HP Fire, Twinkle Tackle, he has to have the fighting move, right? I don't think he can knock us out from full. We'll just hit click. F this game is going so fast. Oh my goodness. Interesting to see a Zygote on a team like this. Getting rid of Mawile was so key. All things considered, I want to keep Fire Blasting. Because if he knocks me out... I'm pretty certain I can go Kartana and would win this game. I don't need the Heatran because it was Scarfed. Pretty sure we can win right here, guys. Especially if he stays in. Because I am max HP. This might just be Bandit. That fire flamethrower play was so, so crucial. Him leading Cresselia was weird. Okay, so he goes Uxie. I'm going to pause and try and count this. Yo, Uxie is stupid, yo. I guess it's max, max, relaxed. <laughs> Bars. Um, knockoff, not killing. In fact, I need to crit. Leaf Blade, high crit. Even my Z move doesn't. Uh, yeah, we'll just knock off. Yeah, so that was crap. Crap, 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 crap. And he's HP fire. This is dangerous, guys. He might just memento me. And that was okay. So he wasn't even max max, unless I got ma like max roll. Dang it. So I think, um... I think Leaf, Blade, Leaf Blade is the best play. As he does this Memento. 
I might have lost this game, guys. He goes Marowak. Okay, so it's not over. I was afraid of the Magirna. Marowak is not nearly as big of an issue. How do we win this? <laughs> Lele ain't doing it. Actually, Clefable? Shoot out speed. Yeah, but... If I can somehow get into my Latias after uh, this Marowak's gone, then I can win. I'll go Bulu. Is he just Flare Blitzes? <laughs> How many more kills is he about to get? I'll go into uh, Clef and click Magic Ground. Ugh. Oh, that's painful, man. And we'll go Lele now. We can do this. We can do this, guys. I'm pretty certain we can do this. Because right now we go Cortana. Click Knock Off. We just need damage on this Marowak. If he was smart, he'd go Magirna. That's game, man. I can't win now. If I Swords Dancer, then I won. No way. No way, Magirna. This, this team is so threatening. And I don't think I could have played that much better. Or no, sorry. Wrong set. Trick Room. Corkscrew Crash at plus two would have knocked him out. But without the boost. Alright. So this is my play. This is my only play. Let's go Latias. Double the Cartana. Nah, it's over. Because he still has the Marowak. And that, yeah. See, I thought I might be able to live that. And I have to go back to Latios. As he goes, Marowak. Good game. Uh, so, it was an interesting tour tournament, to say the least. Oh! Semi-finals, man. Trick Room is so hard. I'm trying to think if the rain team would have been better. I was thinking about bringing the rain team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the tournament gameplay. It was fun for me. This will be going up on Friday. It's not even Friday. Not even close to Friday. But I saw the tournament, I hopped into it, I wanted to play it. I had fun. And we, we almost got to the finals. I really need to actually have some teams put together for this, because... I did not have anything that would have been... <laughs> standard, to say the least. But, like I said... Look for this video on Friday. It's been Trip, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just... How do you end a video?